I was at the gym two days ago. I bought these warm up pants, oh. and I gotta, I gotta. What do you mean? Why? What are you to work uh, out? What are you talking about? Warm up pants. Yeah, warm up pants. Oh, is that like, what they're called? Yeah, like sweatpants, but not sweatpants. Oh, all right. I hear warm up pants. I think you're gonna like MC Hammer it. <laughs> what? Those are dance pants. Uh, dance pants. <laughs> I gotta answer my pants. I got some warm up pants, but I got a weird body. I have a very thin waist. I got like yes. a 32 er. Oh, I'm a 31. And then my jeans, my my legs are 97 inches long. I mean, yeah. I got legs for days. Daddy over long here. legs over here. So most people that have legs this long weigh 850 pounds. <laughs> so I can't find a pair of pants. Right. Because I get a medium pair, and the the waist is just right. But I look like you know Huck Finn if you had right. a growth spurt. Right. So yeah, I look like a goofball. Flood. Yes. So I got like a goofball. So I buy this other ones that's a large. So now the pant leg, perfect. I got a perfect break on the pant. But the waist is, is like, you know, Andre the Giant could wear these things. Is Why do they do that? Because I think that's the regular size human. It's the majority. I'm an abnormal human. Because I can't find good pants either. But yeah. keep going. So I buy them. So the last, it's too big. So what I did was I took the string, the pull string, and just... Pulled it as tight as you could get and then knotted it. Uh -huh. So they fit nice in the waist, but you can't. There's no expansion. I okay. can't slide them off my hips. I got to wriggle. Ah, uh, Rob Riggle. Like Shania Twain, leather pants over here. I feel like a woman. Man. So I go to the bathroom. I go to the stall at the gym, and I got to really, like, pull down hard. I can hear the rope, the string being like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's oh, like, you know, man. William Wallace when they're racking them. Right, right. So then I pull my dick and balls like up over the string and it's tight on my dick and balls. So Ooh. I'm peeing everywhere. It's like spray peeing, you yeah. know? Why don't you just undo the, the, the knot? It's too tight. You got, I got to bring it over. I'll bring it over with a fork and a pair of binoculars and see if you can help me. All right. So I'll finally, the, the string, it, it flips over my balls and just pinches the bottom of my ah. dick. It catches on the bottom of my dick. So I stop peeing because it's strangle holding. Sure. So I'm like, I guess I'm done peeing. But then once I release it up over the dick, into my pants, oh, I pull the pants up, my dick just goes... Oh, no. I pissed like a quart of urine into my underwear, like full on. I left the toilet and I was like, I just pissed my pants. Yes. And then I go to Cham, go to the steam room. I take my warm-up pants off. I got my underwear on, Mac Weldon's, mind yeah. you. Antimicrobial. And the stain is just enormous. Like it's more stain than not stain. That's oh. how wet I pant wet my pants were. Now this is on the, the, the warm up, not on the undies. This is after my work this is on the undies. But you can't see it through the pants. Not through the pants. Okay. I took the pants off because I'm gonna go steam. Got but it. the underwear I had to roll up tight in a ball and stick in my backpack for the rest of the day. You didn't want to just wear it out? I couldn't put them back on. They were so wet I wow. couldn't wear them out. I pissed my pants. Yeah. Wow, it's been a while. It was yucky. So then I had to like come on when I got home for like an hour. I forgot to take them out of my backpack because oh. I'm not used to taking underwear out of my backpack. This is my childhood all over again. I know. So I unzipped the backpack, and now like my my notebook, my cigar cutter, oh. my my herpy pills, they all smell like a bag of piss. Oh boy! And then I throw them in the laundry. It was all those ones where my laundry bag is half full, but I got to drop it off asap. Oh, I can't yeah. just have a puddle of piss in my living room. Now what are you gonna do with the notebook? Every time you write a joke, you're gonna smell whiz. <laughs> I just have to. Nobody beats the whiz, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I, I gotta live with it.